didn't see a password system in there. Was that because I didn't look at the... Was that because I didn't look up top at the end of the level? Oh, this is the part that you're talking about? I see, okay. Yeah, you're gonna have to pay attention to the password thing next time. I'm not 100% sure I saw it, but that's probably because I just went through it too quickly. Not much time to react to those obstacles. Yeah, it seems almost like you want to have them timed out. Rather than try to try to do it as you see them. But thankfully all this stuff was pretty easy, so... That was really the first time that, that I had any trouble. It was that level. Again, I'm not sure if the points or anything actually has any sort of significance, but it could. Nice, that was pretty much painless. Those potholes might be the hardest part of the game. Uh-oh. get into the freezer here and this part yeah like I said we can pretty much just cruise mostly right through of course there are chickens attacking from the pot pies I just I can't I mean I shouldn't be surprised but I must admit I am Ah, I see what they want me to do. Ah, yes, yes. So we grab that. Nice, managed to avoid the walrus this time. Ooh, gosh. I like I like the derby that the, that the walrus has. That's nice. Here we go, first level, just like that. Yeah, see, th th there is a password, okay. We'll, we will have to grab the password once I get to that, once I get to that third level there. What's going on, Jay Let's how you doing tonight, dude? Alright, didn't even, didn't lose a life that time. We're already at the zoo. We already know what to do here. Make haste here. We, do, we don't have much time. Shoot this guy. We could probably just make that jump. No! Holy crap, I took so much damage from that. That's intense, dude. Okay, yeah, we want to be in a full run. That is not what I meant to do. Oh my gosh, almost had it. Dude, those giraffes, man. Those giraffes are some deadly enemies, dude. Not to be trifled with. I think I know how to get past him now, though. 
At least, somewhat. It's just getting through this- I, I can't believe how much damage I actually took from falling in the water earlier, dude. It was so much. Oh, didn't need to do that. Nice. The little animation with, with Ren almost falling off there was pretty good. Oh, we can stop that thing too if we hit it. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. So we can stop the, the birds. Those... What do you even call those types of birds that are... Slowly but surely here. Oh, wow. That one hit me. No, not what I meant to do. Oh my gosh. That was a little close. <laughs> oh, I see. It's like a, a little bit of a safer route. No! There you go. Yeah, might as well go ahead and get over here. No! Oh no, my gosh. I was trying to get to the powdered toast. Goody kitty. <laughs> I forgot that I forgot that Ren could actually do that. And I'm trying to remember what Stippy does. St Stippy does something to Ren. Uh-oh. Okay, so what we need to do... Stimby, can you get up here, please? There you go. Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. Maybe this one? Hmm, how do you get over there? Weird, hmm. Yeah, that's some tough powder toast to get. Can't go over that way. Hmm. Interesting. Again, I wonder what you have to do to get that powered toast. That's a tough one, dude. Okay, so now we're gonna get filled up with gas again. Okay, so Stimpy is blocking my path, so let's just switch to Stimpy. Oh, and then Ren literally jumps right in my path. We have to get to that powder toast on the other side. I don't want to lose another life here. Ooh. Ouch, dude. All right, now Ren's blocking my path, so switch to Ren. Ren was dropping like... Dropping like he was full of weights there for a second. That wasn't good. Powdered Toast. He's toast terrific. Just like Powdered Toast. Leave everything to me. 
All right, so we got passed through that part in one go at least. It's interesting how the password, of, like the first part of the passwords in numbers. That leads me to leave. It probably keeps track of your total score, your lives, and your continues that you've used throughout the password system. So if you do use a password, then it probably saves everything. You know what I mean? One of those things. Like a Castlevania password in Bloodlines or something, you know? Oh, hey, thanks. Th th thanks, v I appreciate that. There you go. We got a picture of it, too. Ooh, gosh. And then I died. So what's probably the... We could probably do this. And so we could actually... Oh yeah, we don't even have to do this. We just like write this down if we really wanted to. Two forty-seven. Is that supposed to be a shining reference? Isn't it two seventeen? Get on with it, man. Because I know that they changed it in the Shining movie. They changed the actual room number. I'm not sure why. That was just something that Kubrick did. Or whoever wrote the screenplay. Yeah, if Stimpy's standing like that, he can act, actually act as a shield. To a certain extent. Mess with that guy. Okay, let's drop down this way. This way. Is there anything here? Oh, that's not good. Dang it, I got hit twice. Oh, I see now. <laughs> I see now what you mean. Yo, Zomwife, what's going on? How you doing tonight? How's your evening going so far? Thanks for the lurk, I appreciate it. Hope you have yourself a great evening. I'm gonna pick up the Shining book for Christmas. Nice, I actually have a hard copy of it. It's a great book. It's not, it's not too long either compared to some other Stephen King Books. Not that I mind some of his longer books. Like I said, some of those end up being really good. But The Shining is just awesome because it's... It's straight to the point. It's quick. You know, I've never... Oh gosh. I, one book I've never read from him is It, but I'm pretty sure that that one is, is one of his longer ones. Oh no.
I was about to ask, what is going on here, Powdered Toast, man? Speaking of, there's Powdered Toast right there. There's more Powdered Toast right there. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. That, that's a nicely discovered secret there. Double up on health. Alright, so let's grab both these items here. I, I, I like how Ren is also just kind of looking around and Stimpy's... Stimpy looks forward and then just looks at Ren. But me, meanwhile, Ren is looking in all directions. That's the only book I've I've read. Oh, you, you mean by Stephen King, though? Because so it's probably not the only book you've ever read. You mean by Stephen King, right? Yeah, I certainly wouldn't mind reading that one. How many pages is is it? Do you and do you have the and ha, did you read the paperback or the? Hardback edition. Okay, so, yeah, we can go ahead and drop down. Drop down again. And the cool thing is we have all of our continues going into this one too now. Here it comes. Excuse me, Mr. Horse. No, sir, I don't like it. Ow, he still hit me there. Ooh, I, I was the one who hit him there. Ooh, and he hit me there. <laughs> no, sir, don't like it. <sighs> Man. Like I said, dude, those potholes, they're rough. He still hit me there, wow. Oh no, he hit me again. Mr. Horse hit me three times. No, sir, I really didn't like it. Oh, and he rear-ended me. Oh my gosh, and we rear-ended him there. Now we're down to half health. How oh, I, I, I thought I jumped that one. Jeez. Jeez. Those potholes, man. It's all good though, it's all good. We have the password now. We're gonna be we're gonna be okay. Oof. Like I said, we really hope we can get to the potholes with full health. Wow, and he still rear-ended me. He's like, nope, you are going down to half health, whether you like it or not. That was an executive decision by the game there. My gosh, dude. Whew, those potholes. Oh my gosh, and that guy just took a quarter of my health, or a third of it, rather. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is going to take just the right run. Nope. Now with Mr. Horse backing up into me like that.
Ooh. Nope. Where's the powdered toast? There it was. No. No. <laughs> oh, gosh dang it, dude. Oh, my gosh. This part's actually pretty tough. Oh, my gosh. Mr. Horse, dude. He's such a problem in this level. No, sir. I don't like it. Not one bit, sir. Okay. I haven't seen Mr. Horse do that yet. Ouch and ouch, man. Oh my gosh, we're dead. Yep. Yep. No, no, I don't I don't like to do those types of strategies, weed pipe. I don't like doing like, you know, glitches or exploits or anything like that. Not bashing anybody who who else like if, if that's if someone else uses that strategy, I don't personally don't care. It's just for myself, I don't like to use that type of stuff. To me, that's like that would be like having a goalie pause so I could score a goal. It it just wouldn't. It you wouldn't be actually scoring a goal. You know what I mean? That's just the way I see it. It's just gonna take some timing learning. Yeah, I mean, it, that's kind of cheat, you know. That's that's like borderline cheating right there. Like, again, I'm not I'm not bashing anybody who does do that. I, I personally don't care. Don't care if people use game genies, save states, pause pause strats, whatever. That's just not my style. Yeah. Mr. Horse is making sure I don't get too far ahead. Gosh, didn't jump that one in time. Yeah, it's just... It's difficult to... kind of figure out where the potholes are if you don't already know. <sighs> Mr. Horse came in quick there. He was ready. possible second there and then got me. Ha <laughs> ha! Crap. No! I tried to get the powder toast. He didn't jump. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was pressing the wrong button to pedal. I was pressing the jump button instead. What's even going on? <laughs> wow, that was weird. Man, that's rough. Yeah, it is. It's okay though. It's okay. It was it was going too easy. Hey, it's all good. The game just cheated. Mom! The game is cheating! Okay, what was it? It was like 45. It's like 45. What is it? How many zeros is that? 
Four? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Oops. Gotta go back one. Oh no, I, I guess it is. Yeah, oh four. And let's see, seven KJ, six two X. Seven KJ, six two X, two X. And what is the last one? Zero. Do we just go to start now? Wait, what? No, that's weird. Huh, the password didn't work. Okay. I don't think I, I don't think I edited it correctly. Right, let's try that again. Seven KJ six two X X zero. Seven KJ six six two X. Oh, I see. There's a start down there. There we go. Maybe the last one's a no, not a no, hard to tell. Yeah, yeah, no, I think it's just because I wasn't following the options that the password menu had for me. I think that was user error on that one. <laughs> just a hunch. I, and I actually think they took out the O, it looks like. Maybe so that confusion isn't there, because there were a lot of zeros there. Like a lot of zeros, so I wonder if they just took the O out of the alphabet. I think that I didn't see it on there. Okay, so we'll hit this guy. Oops. Not a big deal. Let's go across here. Come on, Stimpy. go on and run through here. Yeah, so wasn't there some powdered toast down here? Thought so. That was weird. Oh, it moved me. Interesting. Maybe that's, I mean, that's actually kind of cool. That way I don't take damage. leave that one down there for now, just in case we need it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Ah, okay, he's gonna try to... Okay, let's just get behind him. There you go. Okay, now what's going on? Oh, right. Both of us need to be up there. Right, right, right. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so he does a little bit of a higher jump if he's just standing in one place rather than moving. That's good to know. Okay. Still not quite enough to reach up there, though. Yeah, we need Stippy's help to get up there. Hey. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get on the yeah the second level here, so we can avoid the mailbox and have all of our lives and health going well pretty much going into this part. Now we're already back here in this craziness, avoiding Mr. Horse and this crazy pound driver here. I think that's what he is. I thought originally he was the truck driver, but that's why that's what I remember is he's the pound driver because we're going to the pound after this. Yeah, Mr. Horse was going for the backup there. Ah, oh, got hit by the first one. Could have avoided that. And the second one. And the third one. Wow, that was terrible. Crap. Was not going quite fast enough. Okay, so I think that how Mr. Horse moves in is depending on the level. I think that at certain points he tries to back up, yeah, like that. He tries to aggressively back up on you depending on your speed. Yeah, I jumped too soon there. No, I didn't jump at all there. Craziness. Yeah, one thing is we need to go in there with health. We need to get the powder toast halfway through. So we can recover at least a little bit of health, like at least a hit. And hopefully avoid the first handful of potholes. Oof, yeah, this is not a good one. Yeah, what is going on with Mr. Horse here? Oh my gosh, did you see that? Awful. Oh. He was waiting for us. He was waiting. Oh, I couldn't even jump there. The game didn't even let me. I pressed the jump button and nothing happened. We just got smushed. Got sandwiched in between the cars. I wonder if it was a timing thing. I doubt the game was like, nah, you can't jump here. It's probably because I was already getting hit or something and the position was gone at that point to actually do anything about it. Yeah, this is much a timing thing. Then there's a double right there. Yeah, I missed the double. Long one, short one, long one, powdered toast, super long one. Oh my gosh, that was a lot better. Oh, joy. <laughs> Olive loaf till we puke. No, let's not. <laughs> I, I, I specifically remember Ren saying that. When, when, sorry, yeah, when Simi was like, what do we do till then? Like, well, you could read a book. Eat olive loaf till you puke. Yeah, once again, it did not let me jump there. And again, did not let me jump there. Yeah, it has to do with... Has to do with the positioning of the cars. Yep, same thing. It did not let me jump. Has to do with the perspective. Yeah, the position of Mr. Horse's car. Once again, it didn't let me jump there. Weird. Okay. I, I think it's my controller then. That's my own fault. Can't blame the controller. Gotta blame the gamer. It's my, it's my hardware, so... Maybe it's the way I'm bouncing? Maybe I can't... Yeah, I think I see now. Interesting. Yeah, you... Okay, weird, dude. That is so weird. Yeah, it didn't let me jump there. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. Yeah, once again, did not let me jump there. 
Yeah, this part, this part's pretty tough, actually. Oh my gosh, Mr. Horse is gonna kill me here, yep. Oh my gosh, that was bad. Oof. Yeah, so it's like a short one, a short one, a super short one, and then a really long one as far as the gaps in between the potholes. Man, dude. Yeah, I think what I want to do is just try my best to stay bouncing on Mr. Horse's car. and not pedal too far past it. But if I don't pedal past it enough, that's what's also gonna happen is he's gonna rear end me like that. Ooh, I missed the powdered toast, no. I missed the powdered toast. Hey, no worries, Wee Pipe. Thanks for coming by, dude. I really appreciate it. Give yourself a good night, man. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to get through this part. And I highly doubt this has anything to do with it. It could. I just doubt it. Yeah, that's ideally what I want right there. Is bouncing on Mr. Horse's car, just like that. There you go. Crap. No, dude. Missed the powdered toast, of course. My gosh. Getting better at the pedaling part, though, at least. Need my big mouth. As I say that, I get hit by Mr. Horse there. Yeah, it's just so weird. There was nothing I could do about that. Yeah, so again, I'm just pedaling too far past him. That has to be what's wrong. And there, I guess I wasn't pedaling fast enough. Yeah, that was just too fast, once again. Hmm... Mmm. Craziness, dude. Oof. Oh my gosh, there was nothing I could do about that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, there's gotta be some sort of... There's gotta be some sort of timing, dude. There's no way you could have to take damage there. There's no way that that's, like, gonna make you take damage. Again, am I pedaling too fast too soon? That is the question. Hmm. Wow, that was actually really good for a second. And I ramped on something. I wonder how I did that. Definitely don't want to pedal too much in the air. Yeah, it's oh gosh. Missed the powdered toast again. How do you get the powdered toast? 
That's what I'm wondering, because every time I jump, it doesn't seem that I get it. Hmm. It's all good though, it's all good. Again, we have this password to where we can get right back to the to that particular level. We still have to go through the first part of the buildings, but... It's been going pretty quick, so... Okay, so let's go and put that password in again. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the password in now I'm just gonna take a quick break. Get my eyes out the screen. We're gonna come back. So is it seven? What was it seven K? Seven K J? Seven K J six two X zero. X yeah zero. Cool. Hmm, except there's... Oh no, yeah, there is. Yeah, it's just faint. I, I hear it though, there it is. Okay, we're just gonna take a quick break here, everybody. Take two or three minutes here, I'm gonna get my eyes off the screen, get my eyes off the light. I'll just do a quick refresher. We'll come back and we'll continue this, folks. I should be right back, everybody.
the old taser. Is too funny. Oh, we, we finally, I was wondering if someone's going to redeem that. No, sir, I don't like it. <laughs> All right, we are back, everybody. My, my roommate and I were just joking about some old WCW days when, when Goldberg got attacked with a cattle prod. <laughs> oh, the wrestling world. It's fun to think about, but you know, we'll take a couple blasts on that note. Yeah, my roommate was straight up like, man, like if you actually tase somebody, you'd go to jail for years, you'd go to prison. And I'm like, oh, the referee didn't see it. His back was turned. With a game like this, we need to make sure we're and we're taking some some weed blasts here. What do we have here, anyways? Is this some Northern Lights? I'm pretty sure it is, actually. <laughs> yeah, I like how Ren says that. That's hilarious. I wonder if Stimpy says something when you are highlighted as him. If he says something along, like something snarky to you, like that. Hey, we were we were things are looking up. We were actually getting better at that pothole part, like as far as some of the timings go. Because I think getting some of the first ones is easy because you basically have equal gaps from the first three, then a longer one, and then a super short one after that. So I, I feel like if we can avoid those four, five rather, that was five. If we can avoid those five potholes, I think that we're going to be in the right direction. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was five. Yeah, three short ones, then a long one, followed by a, a super short one after that. Yeah, that's five. Crap. Crap. That's okay. There's there's a bunch of powdered toast in this level. There's three different powdered toasts we can get. So we can get our health back. Leave everything to me. <laughs> Leave everything to me. He's toast terrific. Just like powdered toast. Yeah, so you can just use Ren just to jump up most of this here. And we'll get all the way up here. We'll get to our old pal Stinky Whistle Tea record. Alright, let's just run through the birds here. Really need to get mess with there by those dudes and we can just drop down here right and this guy's gonna be right here and we got some powdered toast over here and let's get running so that we don't get hit by the mailbox there okay <laughs> yes a fly spotter versus a jackhammer and the fly swatter wins of course that is so funny, dude. <laughs> You're attacking a, attacking a jackhammer with a fly swatter. Yep, the old, the old furball. The old furball puke from the cat. Yep, that's what did it. That's what destroys the jackhammer every time. What do we do here? Do we just... I, th I think we just go past him, to be honest. Yep. Okay, we pretty much have this part memorized now. I wonder if we can just... No, you cannot. Okay. Yeah, we might want to go back for that powder toast now. Can we, though? Probably. Nice. So we probably can. That's the answer. Nice. 
Hell yeah, okay. We're in business. Alright, so we recovered some health there. Covered a lot of health to be exact. Covered most of our health back. So that will definitely help. Help us get through the crazy upcoming part. Okay, so we cannot make it across. I wonder if we could with that with that one bounce that we have, the collective bounce. Like we probably can from here. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, we, we can get through we can get through the first part of that a little quick. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Just like have one or two pedals after you pass Mr. Horse. Don't pedal too many times. Like maybe once or twice. Even then, I still got hit there. Because you, I, I don't think you can pedal and jump at the same time. I think that was the issue that I was having. Ooh, ouch. It's like tap, tapping the pedals one at a time there. Yeah, see, that was just bad timing. Here's the long one. And a super short one right there. I still got hit by that one, though. <sighs> Ouch. It's okay. We got hit a lot early on, and we didn't even go in there with full health, so... Yeah, see? I pedaled one too many times right there. Just one too many times. It's sensitive, dude. You gotta be really careful. What are you doing, Mr. Horse? There you go. Ooh, once again, pedaled one too many times there. That was better. That was better, though. That was not. Whoa! Can you ramp off of certain potholes? Is that what's going on? Missed the powdered toast. That was close, though. That, that was better. Careful now. Yes. Careful now. Ooh. Gosh dang it, Mr. Horse. No, sir. I don't like it. Ooh, that was my fault. I jumped too soon. And tried to pedal through it. It didn't work. Gosh dang it, dude. Oof, yeah, I just don't have them. Okay. It's like a... Figuring out the next series and trying to memorize those... That's what I'm trying to do, essentially. I'm trying to remember, because it's, again, it's three short ones, a long one, a super short one. And then from there, I'm trying to figure out, it seems like it's several long ones followed by a short one. Ooh. Pedaled one too many times. That was a tough one right there, though. That wasn't really my fault. Long one, and then a super short one, we still hit it. Crap. Oh, joy. Yo, what's up, Pizza Borg? How you doing, dude? Yep, someone indeed did the, did the 30k request. It was Pez. Oops. I didn't expect to get thrown right into the soup right away here. But we did. Like I said, you just want to tap it, it seems, dude. Once you get going. Right. 
crap, did it too soon there. Ooh, that was a super long one. Couldn't get the powdered toast. We got it, yes! <sighs> never, never give up. All right, so got the password there. So we are all good with that. Yeah, that part that part was tough there, Pizza Borg. I was stuck on that part for a good a good hour. I would say. So what do we have next? Okay. Oh, the pound, that's right. Because the pound, that was the pound truck. Again, I thought it was a dump truck at first and then I realized that it was the pound driver from the pilot episode. Happy, happy. Oh gosh, hot coals? And falling... Hot coals and falling... Whew. Falling slates. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, give him, give him a smack with the fly swatter. Yeah, get that guy out of here. Okay, that guy's a three guy hit too. The pound guard. Okay, I think we have to dig through this part. Yes, indeed. Oh yeah, this part is ridiculous. Once you have the timing down, it's easy though. But those spikes there, yeah, th those can be absolutely devastating. That's not good. Oops, that's not meant to do. Okay, so we... Hmm. There we go. Okay, get the guy out of here, dude. I guess we're gonna need to jump back down here. So we have to do this by committee. Ooh, that was a bit close. Ow. Yeah, both of us got hit by that one. There's some some pretty well detailed morning stars there. There you go. Yeah, the, the timing's not too bad on those, to be honest. It's really not. Especially that that final one right there. That didn't seem too bad. Doesn't seem like any... Ooh, here we go. Excellent. Yeah, again, not too bad. Oh, these guys. I forgot about this boss. Oh, but I already remember. It's the ogre fight. Yeah, it's just, that's all it is. He's just a Yeti. It's, it's, the, it's the Yeti fight from from Jewel Master. We got it. So you might be asking yourself, how do you kill this guy? Quite easily. If you ever have seen this episode of Ren Stimpy where they're pro wrestlers, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, he got me though.
<laughs> they gave you the butt bomb. Yeah, I love the... I love the bell, too. They, they hit the bell. Yeah, this fight is easy. If you know what to do. Because, again, if, you, if you've ever seen this episode of Ren Stimpy, it's, there's a big clue on how to beat these guys. A huge one. And most players who have not seen the cartoon are not going to get the hint. Although, it's right in the middle of the screen. And a good player is going to think that the timer at the top is working against them. On the contrary, the timer on the top is working against them. <laughs> they throw the fight. Oh, points do matter. Because it's pro wrestling. They just throw the fight. Speaking of pro wrestling, that's so weird that my roommate and I were just talking about pro wrestling. And there we go. We got the pro wrestling fight. Yeah, they literally they, they literally beat the living crap out of Ren Stimpy the entire episode. And then right at the last moment, one of their watches goes off. And the other one looks at each other and he's like, Hey, it's, it's time to throw the fight. The outdoors, yep, this is the last level. Or do we have this one then? Right, yeah, this level's awesome. This level's weird. This is like the marooned level, if you've ever seen the marooned. This is a combination, this is also the, the teeth one. And it also looks like There's, there, there's another one going on here. Oh yeah, that's right. The great, uh, like the one where they go camping because the mosquitoes, that's where the mosquitoes are from. Yeah, there's a bunch of different episodes going on in this, in this level. Yeah, this is from, this, th these right here are from Black Hole, I'm pretty sure. These eyeballs. So th there's three different space episodes. There's Space Madness, there's, there's Black Hole, and then there's... There's marooned. Now, can we... No, okay. So I wonder if we could do the... Nice, got the powder toast. Excellent. Yeah, that part's easy. Yeah, it starts... Yeah, again, outdoors. Yeah, this part right here, this nose hair, this is part of one of the, like, fairy tale Ren Stimpy episodes. Where Stimpy's supposed to be like Rapunzel. Rapunzel trapped in the tower. Now those guys, I'm trying to remember what they're from. Yeah, they're just some, like, ridiculous creature that they encounter, but I'm trying to remember the episode where they encounter this creature. And why. There you go. I really want to see if there's some, like, powdered toast or something up here. There is! Oh my gosh! Asking you shall receive. What's going on here? Oh, this is weird. This thing's spitting out secrets. Whoa, this is trippy. We got like a little flying machine thing going on here. Oh, there is some powdered toast. I'd really like to get that powdered toast. 
Might be asking too much at this point. There we go. Oh no, I missed it. <laughs> I missed it and then immediately got shot and hit. That's funny. Gosh dang mosquitoes. Yeah, so we have the outdoors and then I'm pretty sure after this level, we have the, the laboratory and that's where we get the last piece. Pretty sure, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so the points do indeed matter. They, they, gave a, they gave me an extra life. So that's good to know. I wonder if you get, I wonder if you get other bonuses like for like all items in a, in a level or something. And again, I wonder if the items themselves have something to do with it. Oh, okay, right, this part. Ouch. Ooh, that's, that was ouch. Okay, okay so we got the antennae. All right, so it should be the, just the last level. So there should be a level where we have to turn the machine off. And there's no, there's, hey, off-world colonist, what's going on? How you doing, dude? 16-bit just got home, pizza's on the way, life's not bad right now. Hey, I'm glad to hear that, colonist. And USN Woody, what's going on? Thanks for the, thanks for the lurk, dude, I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a great night. And Mr. Retro, how's it going, dude? You remember this game? Was it this one or was it the NES one where you could do the cat and mouse thing with Stimmy's mouth? I, I don't know. Oh, okay, so there's other bubbles, I see. Oh, fell down too soon. All right, there we go. Oh no, hmm. What exactly am I doing wrong here? It's one of those things where you wanna like stay jumping, yeah, otherwise it, it depreciates the value of the bubble the longer you actually stand physically on it. Yes, it is. Watch out for the Tesla coils. I don't like the looks of those, dude. What's going on here? We're almost like in the wall. That's weird. Oh, okay, I think I see. Wait, do I? Oh, we do have to go and wow. Huh.
All right, no problem. Oh, you have to get eaten by Stimpy. Yeah, like when the right, right. When there's when they're scamming those two people and they like sneak into the kitchen and make themselves sandwiches. Got lucky there. Let's just get out of there. Crap. Stimmy, get up here, dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that part that part right there, the light bulbs, is a little bit rough, but we'll get past it. Oh, I was gonna say, which one's highlighted? It must not be the one that's must not be the one that's checkered color. Now I wonder if we can avoid that. Getting sucked into this bubble thing. And just go straight to the right. Oh, that was dumb of me. It's all good. Again, just have to keep jumping so that we don't depreciate it. Dr. Claus, what's up, dude? How you doing? Yeah, exactly. You have to eat all of those to you puke. Yeah, I, I remember used to getting actually like upset when when it would come to that point. Oh wow, are we just cheesing through this? That's a cheese. Wow, okay, that's interesting. Oh, wow. I, I got I think I got hit by the flame twice there. Oops, wrong button. Ah, I see. Then, yeah, I, 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 I don't think we went in time. Yeah, that seems like almost like a timing thing right there. So it was brutal. Well, again, it can't be any worse than the the potholes. That I got stuck on that part for about an hour. So that seemed much more brutal than this part so far. I think as long as we can get past the figure out how to get past the light bulbs, there we should be okay. Okay. Come on, Stippy, get up here, dude. We're gonna take damage. Oh my gosh. Crap. We made it, but... Oh, I see. We only have limited time after that. Got to run for it after that. Run for your life. Oh my gosh. Still got hit there. Wow. Well, and yeah, I think that's the end right there. So... It's okay, it's okay, because we have this part down. Whew, my gosh, that hurt. Leave everything to me. 
Yeah, jump off there. Let's dip you fall. We can maintain this bubble over here. And if we need to, we can jump to the one to the left. Nah, we're good. As long as we only get hit by the Tesla coils once, should be okay. Okay, so we do have to do a double jump there, okay? Crap. get hit by that one that one too This is definitely a timing thing here. Oh no, okay. Okay, we want to get to that part with, with pretty much as much health as possible. The, the, the light bulbs in this part are all the easy parts. Once we get to the candles, it gets a little bit tougher and even still, we shouldn't get hit except by maybe the last two candles. We're not doing terrible, not by any means. Leave everything to me. Okay. Let's just wait. Dang it. Come on, Stimpy. Crap. Stimpy, dude. Whew. I really need some powdered toast. Gosh, dang it. Oh my gosh, I almost had it. He's not doing the... There you go. He's gotta respond, come on. Got it. Yeah. Hell yeah, awesome. Happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> that one's in the pocket. <laughs> I knew we could beat that one tonight. Yeah, it's not it's not a tough or, or a terribly long game, so. 
Hopefully, hopefully Pez saw some of it. <laughs> Pez is going to come and be like, hey, so are, are we playing that game today? You're like, well, uh, we, yes, Pez, we were. <laughs> hey, thanks for the GG's there, Metro. Uh, me, sorry, Mr. Retro. Pizza Borg, Dr. Claus. The so Ghostbusters say game. No, no, I haven't, I haven't played that game yet. The game is a lot like Ghouls and Ghosts. Oh wow, that's crazy. Ghouls and Ghosts is such a tough game. Nice, all right, that was, that was Ren Stimpy. 